Hi friends, welcome back to the Guitar Spa where we bring you all the beautiful guitars I reviewed just for you and I have this uh, Taylor just got in this is the Academy 10 series Academy 10 uh, is a dreadnought size uh, made for the beginner I mean that's what the website say in uh, the Taylor website um, with the beginner in mind and it's a uh, classic dreadnought shape with a 24 7 8 uh, scale length so it's easy on your hands 111 16 nut width uh, this um, it's a slightly smaller size uh, dread not really a dreadnought size but slightly scaled down a little bit takes uh, almost the like the baby ball uh, baby big baby uh, tailor size only difference is slightly depth there's more depth in here and also a few uh, features that this guitar has one is the bevel look at that bevel beautiful bevel where it, it sits here comfortably and it won't affect uh, your the way you play and also the sustain um, and the other thing also this one has is the um, um, just sick spruce stop back and sides uh, layer sapili which is actually is laminated sapili uh, that's just marketing way of saying it's just layer uh, layer and uh, what's the bracing pattern? Of course, they said it's a special academy bracing, but when I took shots, which is right now on the Facebook uh, uh, post link, I've sent it to you right now. Uh, it's This is about one and a half inch from the sound board, and the X brace, it's tapered from the side, this way, tapered, tapered by the side. So it frees up, when it's tapered, it frees up this side, uh, the low bar, to allow it to vibrate. And the other thing about this uh, guitar is there's only one tone bar. So one tone bar, uh, what it does is it gives you a little bit more of that airy, supple, fertile bass, very airy. The airy bass may not be a clear bass, okay, just to let you know because uh, that's what some people, uh, some companies, the, uh, they use on a uh, the entry level or the or what I would call that the mass market level is that they just put simple uh, braces on there just to have structural integrity and also to free up the low bar here so to give you a little bit more base because uh, there are limitations on 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 marketing a, an entry level if they made it sound better than the normal line of Taylor then they have a big problem that's uh, that's part of the business aspect of uh, guitar making and selling guitar one eleven sixteen nut with uh, on this guitar it came with uh, Mikata nut and a new bone which actually is synthetic plastic uh, which I don't really like and it wasn't really profiled correctly uh, so I fitted the owner uh, bought this used uh, which was lying around for two years by the first owner and wasn't there's no wear it's, it's just like new and I just fitted a FMI saddle and ditch off the, the plastic pins which actually a tone robber because plastic doesn't transfer energy towards the top especially and fit uh, bone pins on this so I'm gonna play and um, just a little bit more uh, the head plate you get a head plate and die cast units on this beautiful easy to play one thing about Taylor is uh, the playability of uh, Taylor's are just uh, easy so if you want your kid to start off with a, a guitar that um, it looks good it's a modern looking uh, uh, guitar but also the other thing is uh, it's bright uh, so and it's easy to play because once it's easy to play what is it fun and easy they can play uh, simple songs uh, whatever songs that are available and then that's where and then as they evolve you can actually upgrade them to a better finer sounding guitar that costs a little bit more but the best part about guitar playing is better it, it i i you know i have children myself uh two boys and uh the main thing is if they play guitar they, they play at home or they learn the craft it takes hours to learn or, or learn a song nowadays is easy they won't be in in uh, with the clubs or in in a snooker bar you know playing billard uh mixing with wrong company so so if you have teenage children and and they have lots of energy and and rather than doing sports and you'll do a little bit of sports things like that the other thing is get them involved in music because music uh, touches the soul music is a universal language you universe um, uh, music also attracts the opposite sex you know if you're a guitar player 
let's face it you know uh i mean the opposite persuasion do like uh good guitar players i mean i mean that's what i i i seen and people have told me uh if they can play guitar generally girls or guys are a little bit more attracted to them uh but that's not the basis for jumping in to play play guitar so enough of this uh i don't know uh, advice about kids so uh, it's on 12.53, I lower the saddle uh, to, to uh, make it playable and straighten the neck. And that's uh, a little bit bright, but uh, still there's uh, sufficient bass on this. Let's, let's listen to how it sounds. Punchy mids, uh, you can hear punchy punchy mids on this guitar. Let's play it. Let it go. Let it go. My favorite song right now. Because uh, this song really, if, if, if you're playing this song and, and if this song is being composed and, and produced with a band and just playing Let It Go, Let It Go, uh, you know, it's a minor with a seven chord and then there's, there's a, a lead playing and, and you can use it as a, 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 an aerobic, you know, doing your aerobic, you know, just doing it. Play some tunes. Let's play some tunes on this guitar. Uh, upper register. I've said upper register will be a great um, uh, indicator whether the guitar is well made, or at least try to be as well made as possible. As you know, Taylor normally focuses more on the trebly side, whereas the Martin focus more on the warmness and the bass side so if you play you listen to the tracks on the dreadnought junior and you listen to the tracks on um this guitar at the academy 10 uh, you notice the trebles are slightly more ringy <laughs>
one thing uh, if you are a beginner uh, start with short skill so uh, because I think your fingers normally on the on the left side is it needs to be trained and uh, once you are trained then uh, you know your muscles build up a little bit then you can play a um, longer skill guitar something about the short skill also need to know uh, it, um, information that's important is that once you have short skill um, normally the notes are warmer because uh, the strings are shorter and then there's less tension it's warmer and also it's less clearer generally once it's warmer sometimes it's less clear I mean there's a this there's, there's a how would how would I say it? a trade-off okay if you have this you don't have that um, you know so One thing to note, I like this bevel here. Um, honestly, um, anything with, with bevel takes a little bit of, um, I would say, uh, labor. It's slightly more labor intensive. And I don't know how Taylor is able to do it. I think maybe at the CNC, uh, they do it in a way that it cuts it here uh, using the CNC machine. And uh, uh, this guitar, it's from Sweetie in Singapore, and I checked the website just now. It's seven hundred and forty-nine dollars, so it's very, very affordable. This bubble, maybe just above five hundred US dollars. Very, very affordable if you want your daughter or son, or if you just, uh, or you're right now just finishing your career, or you're just past fifty, and you want to maybe take in a hobby. And this could be one of the hobbies that you want to take because music. 
uh, can can really transcend time and transcend all the emotional issues that you may have but also it deep dive down into your creativity force that you have okay all of us have um, now that's that's what I feel so let's do some finger picking stuff Something to note, I, I uh, want to highlight this if you look at this um, inlay in in the rosette. It's like a rope, uh, a beautiful uh, robing, um, something like a, like a rope with two different colors, maple and maybe uh, mahogany, uh, mahogany on it. It's beautiful, something I like to highlight. And also the bevel here, just beautiful bevel. And then the bow pins in the saddle, which you can't really see because it's not a high end camera. Um, yeah, I mean. Let's do a song for Clarice. Or maybe just twinkle twinkle with a star. Because uh, A B C D or twinkle twinkle with a little star sounds the same.
Song for Clarice. Give you a, a comparison of how this is gonna sound. I'm gonna play this here, and I also have the 717 Grand Symphony, um, uh, not Grand Symphony, Grand Pacific here. So just play a little bit, then then you can have a little bit of comparison. The uh, Academy 10 Dreadnought size, a uh, little bit um, um, smaller than the Dreadnought size, slightly smaller. And I just play this uh, with with uh, um, C cuss top, top uh, and a full solid guitar slightly 16 inches above just above 15 inch and focus more on mid-range focus more on uh, travels not a lot of bass but the sufficient
go the Academy uh, 10 uh, from Taylor just recap um, it's a dreadnought size slightly smaller more more like the uh, big baby but slightly more depth one of the few few features uh, the bevel beautiful bevel that's it make it easy comfortable for your shoulders and also the short scale that is 24.78 that is easy head so less tension is easy for beginners uh, so your son or your daughter or your kid or even your wife or yourself if you're 50 and above trying to play this and you have some right arthritis or whatever this could be one of the beginners guitar but mind you after you tasted this you want to move upwards that's how things are you taste you have a foretaste of of the goodness of taylor or even the martin and then you want to just move up the ladder and back in sights uh they call it laminate sapili on this you have the um well a laminated plate on this with the Taylor sticker gold and the die cast juniors and the truss rock plastic covers uh, Tuss um, Mikata nut and the new bone which actually is just plastic just plastic which is uh, I don't really really like it but I've upgraded this to the FMI saddle and the bone pins give you a little bit more robust tone as you can hear even if you would combat this guitar and even your current guitar you will know this one has a little bit more warmness the travels are clearer clearer and ringing okay so if you like this review come on give me a thumbs up right now but even if you don't like this review give me a thumbs up because uh, just just go down there and play press the thumbs up and if you've been lingering for a long time what are you waiting for cut time to subscribe to this channel because this is a great channel and I'm asking you to do me a favor really uh, this is you've seen all my videos it's all free of charge and I put in lots of effort for you just for you you viewers uh, I appreciate you very much and I only need you to do one thing right now is to share this on a social media platform or send this to whatsapp to your friends say hey have a look at this guitar it's beautiful maybe this you can consider this for your family members uh, for your son's birthday that is coming or just to send it to me as a gift okay so till my next review because I love with passion game play your guitar I love joy peace health and wealth to be multiplied in your life I'll see you very soon thank you and I'm signing off Jarvis here from the Guitar Spar in Singapore bye bye friends